If you think it's impossible to get 20 hertz out of a bookshelf speaker, think again. I'm going to show you how in five easy steps. Step one, use the SDX10 subwoofer. No, this isn't a shameless self plug. Not completely anyway. Our SDX10 truly is one of the best subwoofers on the market and it's 100% essential for this design. That's because it has an XBL squared motor. What that does is it creates a super broad VL curve, it lowers the voice coil inductance and allows the subwoofer to play much higher in frequency than other subwoofers. Step 2. Use a waveguide. This waveguide has to be big to match the dispersion of the SDX10. Step 3. Optimize your box. I went with a little over a foot and a half of cubic volume for this box. Maybe not quite a bookshelf anymore, but it still fits on a stand. While we're at it, let's build this cabinet out of some crazy materials like denim and epoxy and make this cabinet weigh almost 100 pounds when it's finished. Step 4. Engineer a kick-ass crossover. With this crossover, I was able to pull off an 8th order acoustic using all passive components. You don't see this every day. The crossovers are 900 hertz and were plus or minus about a dB and a half. Step 5. Make it look cool. In this build, I'm using denim, epoxy, walnut, and brass. So there you have it. 5 easy steps to getting 20 hertz in a bookshelf. If you want to see the full build and more builds like this, check out our YouTube channel.